Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we're going to do something just a bit of fun with art and we haven't had fun with art for a while so we're going to do something a little bit more video orientated and that is a hundred layers of acrylic jelly gouache. And we're going to be using this bad boy because you know it is 2017 again so we're going to be doing this because we don't want 2020. What am I saying 2020? 2020 anymore. We're done with it. So we're going to go back in time a little bit. Here are the amazing jelly acrylic paints. And as you can see, they're still as nice as the day I bought them. I haven't really used them much because I don't really like acrylics. So kind of regretted buying this much of it. But today we're going to utilize it and do some mountain painting. As in a hundred layers of mountain painting. Let's go. Cool transition. After that glorious introduction, we're going to start nice and easy with the first layer. I wanted to try and make a sort of rainbow-esque layer of paint here. So as it would go up uh, the layers of paint, it would become different colours and look beautiful at the sides. As we go on, you'll see that I kind of changed my mind on this. but. Um, I just gently start out with layering down the paints and then in between paints I am hair drying it which was actually a really painful process but layering down the paint was really fun, just the drying of the paint was not so much fun. It was really great to just kind of relax and get into the groove of just moving, pushing paint around a canvas without really thinking too hard about what I was doing. It was just fun and free and something that I don't usually get to do much of these days. I'm kind of more doodling uh, stuff for comics, so I'm making more of kind of specific art and detailed art. And yeah, it's just nice to shut down your brain a little bit. It's kind of like a, a meditation in a way. So with, between each layer I was also washing my brush and uh, wiping it down on this uh, cloth that I had so I wasn't wasting any like tissue paper or anything, it was good for the environment. But yeah, it took a long time guys, this took 3 hours, I didn't think it was going to take that long because I thought acrylic might dry faster, it didn't, it didn't, it needed some assistance in the form of the hair dryer. The hair dryer. Yep. As I was going, I was really getting like Mark Rothko vibes from this uh, way of painting. If you guys don't know who Mark Rothko is, he's that guy who did those like rectangular areas of paint, but as you look into the paint, it's kind of like looking into your soul because it's like really in depth. Uh, paint and you look into it and it's just loads of textures and it's very beautiful but very um, like a, an acquired taste I guess because some people are like why is that worth so much when it's just a, a square on a paint square on a paint yep square painting on a canvas and this was kind of giving me vibes of that in the beginning and I really like that I thought you know what it's it's more than fun this painting with the acrylic I'm starting to see like textures and the way that the acrylic paint is reacting with each other and I was finding a lot of like visual interest in doing that and just like making marks and seeing what would happen if I then went over a little bit over the sides with it and what would what kind of like impression I would create I don't know how to explain it it was just fun and it was it was like trying to make like a nice piece of art that I could hang on my wall that was abstract but also quite beautiful and I really liked the way that it kind of worked to like dry brush but it wasn't really dry brushing because it was just it was just reacting to where the the texture was of the paint so some of the paint was building up in certain areas a bit more than others and it was like a natural texture and a natural progression of this this thing kind of growing on the canvas which was really interesting as I continued it kind of turned into a bit of an experiment with acrylic paint and I really thought at the end of this I probably wasn't gonna like the outcome too much as an artistic piece like I would have enjoyed the process more than I actually liked the overall painting but at the end of this I really like the painting and actually I think I'm gonna hang it up in my house because it's quite pretty and I think it would look good in like a nice white frame maybe and just non-traditional art 
that I don't really own, so there we go. It, like I said, it did take a long time. It took about three hours, but I think I would do this again. I would maybe limit the color palette and see what kind of creation would come out of that, of just putting down layers of paint of a certain color and then yeah, I just think it would be really pretty and uh, I will probably try that again in the future because I have a lot of that jelly gouache, I keep saying jelly gouache, I'm used to it. I have a lot of that jelly acrylic paint left over so I think I'm gonna keep doing these because it was just fun and relaxing. How many times can I say fun in the same video? Fun for fun, there you go, there's another few for you, for your little book there. What? Um, yeah, so I just kept experimenting and then in the middle there was starting to see like this progression of this kind of build up of paint. I thought it would look really cool if I pushed paint a little bit more around the canvas to build up little bits of different areas which were built up a bit more as well, not just the middle bit. And it came out with this like beautiful pattern in the middle which looked like a really expressionate uh, paint brush stroke and then on the outside flecks of paint and it kind of looks like you know it reminds me of um like an artist's palette that's been used over and over again for years and years and I think it looks so pretty it just reminds me of that kind of vibe of like in an old art studio with paint splattered everywhere and different things like that and I think it was just fun and I think the process was I said fun again didn't I I 50 points from puff puff um, no, we're not doing Harry Potter anymore, right? Um, yeah, it was just, it was just a good expressionate thing to do and I could relax and I highly suggest you guys giving it a whirl. I think I'm gonna let you guys just enjoy the last, uh, couple layers that I put down on this piece all by yourself and I will meet you at the end. Okay guys, that is the final layer of paint. I actually really like the way that this turned out in the end. I found it loads of fun and I think I'm gonna frame this because I think it's quite beautiful in a way. I had a lot of fun making this and I'm sure you guys had a lot of fun watching it. Or I hope you were, anyway. I'd just like to thank my patrons who are Devon, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. If you would like a shout out at the end of my video, please check out my Patreon down below. That would be awesome of you. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Here's some gratuitous shots of my jelly paint mountain. Bye. <laughs>